Hey guys, it's me Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Today we have two more Poshmark mystery boxes. These are more geared towards home. Um, they asked, like some of them, the descriptions were like clothing, home and more. So I just asked if they could just do just home because I didn't need any more clothing. And they said fine. Now the problem is I have two boxes here. One and two. They both came, I both picked them up at my PO box the same exact day. So I'm not sure which one's which. <laughs> One is going to have a gnome in it, which I bought for my mom before my dad bought the Gnomathon. So maybe I'll just keep it myself unless she wants it. Um, and the other one is going to be just home items. So one's going to be the gnomes and then home office and decor. And the other one's going to have five, ten items, new with tags, $20, five to seven home items, I think. Ten items, new tags. I don't know. <laughs> I get a little over the place. So first I just want to know which one has a gnome in it. So we have a gnome in it, so one was $20, one was $15, but like I said, the gnome didn't come in the mystery box, the gnome was something separate and I added it to it and then I asked for a little deal and she agreed, so let's see, does this one have a gnome in it? Put on top of this one, keep the mystery alive. I was really more excited about, so this is kind of like a mystery upon a mystery because I don't know which box is which. And it's also fun because it's not just clothing. And I'm trying to my best to try to find ones that aren't just clothing. Oh look, a little, some little bubble things and a little thank you inside of this. And usually everybody's so nice. They're mowing the lawn. So they have a cute little bag with inside the bag. Look, a little notepad. A set of pot holders. I wonder if this is part of it or not. That must be the extras. Oh, no, it says yeah. A free gift just for you. Well, that's super sweet. I don't know if I would use these pot holders, but I could definitely sell them at the flea market. Oh, does it match? How do you kind of match? They're literally here every day. And then everything's kind of wrapped up. Is this the gnomes? Okay, so this is the gnome. So this is the gnome one. So it was $15. $15. I can't remember how many things are supposed to be in it. Thank you. Your purchase made my day. I hope this package makes yours. That was bigger than I thought it was going to be. So these are Valentine's gnomes. But they're stuck together. It's not for you, Paco. Oh, do you also like Paco's new bed? I got this half off at Walmart after Christmas. I bought two of them, two different ones, and they're only five dollars. Look how cute that is. And there's a metal in there, so if you want to bend it. Isn't that cute? They got the beanies at the bottom. I think they're gone. <laughs> I could be wrong. Paco's definitely intrigued by the gnomes. But I put them over there. I don't, what are you looking at? I just gave him a treat before the video, so he probably like, is there more? Do you have more for me? And now we have this thing right here. I guess it all came together. And you got bullet tip markers, smudge free, wet erase. All right, these might possibly could use on my, they're dry erase or wet erase. So wet erase, I guess, and dry erase are different. Beautiful erasable markers, whiteboards, chalkboards. I could use this on my board if I'm wanting to clean in general. And then, it comes with this right here. You can, what does that say? Be kind every day. And you can put a little like note on it. Got this person, is that Ellen? I think that's Ellen. <laughs> and then your kind of week of, we can write down whatever you got going on. And then throw kindness like confetti. It's a little, just like a little notebook, which is handy. Instead of using lots and lots of notepads, you can just use this thing. We'll see how they write. I'm just going to sign my name. You guys have gotten my Poshmark. I've seen my signature. I've always signed it like this. That is Melissa. It might not look like Melissa to you. But it's Melissa. What do you want? There's nothing for you, I swear. Nothing. You want to play with the gnome? There's no more. Do you feel like you need another treat? Hold on, guys. You have the whole pile of energy right now. I just gave you two treats. There's two more. <laughs> for all of you that don't think I, he gets treats, he's now in his old age, has gotten to the point where now he, like, demands treats. So it's not like he sits there and, like, I just give him treats. Like, he'll demand them. All the time. 
All right, what is next? So that's pretty neat. Thank you for your order stuck on this. All this nice paper. Oh, holiday house rules. So that's a little like decor you're gonna put up, like standing like this anywhere you want. That's cute. And then two bags. Silly. Oh, these are reusable straws. So then two reusable straws. They're called Silly Goose. Goose with an S in the backwards. Yeah, so it's a little reusable straws. Oh. And these, which are for cups. I think these are for like cups. You put them on cups. You can tell the difference between each cup if you have like a party or something going on. Now we got a little notebook with lemons all over it. Cute. And then the last item in here is a Savvy Sorted 146 white preprinted minimalistic spice jar ladies. 146? How many spice jars do you have? I guess if you want to change it out. <laughs> That's a lot of spice jars. They are preprinted. Like every one you can think of, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know who really needs this. But I guess. Minimalistic Spice Labels Checklist. Shop for more Savvy and Sorted products. Maybe these go on the Savvy and Sorted jars? I mean, you got everything to think of. Chicory? What's chicory? <laughs> Treville? Don't know. Chop masala, celery salt, calm down. Cilantro, cinnamon, what do we got over here? Salt substitute, Szechuan pepper, stevia, crushed red pepper, cumin. If any of you are worried that you hear him cough and he say that's it, his heart, it's not his heart. It is an esophagus when um, chihuahuas get older, their esophagus gets, you know, a little old. <laughs> so he's completely fine, the vet said he's completely fine. All right, so that was a $15 one. So this one must be the $20 one. $20, I think it says five to seven home items. So this is the $20 one. Let's see. He's being, do you want to come down? He is being a little bossy boy. Are you being a little bossy boy? <laughs> you guys have never heard him bark, huh? Bossy boy, I'm telling you, and his old lady. Like he might want to. He might want to get a drink. Cause I gave him four treats. <laughs> we'll see if he comes back. <laughs> As you know, my videos are completely all over the place. I just got home from work. I was like, let me film this real quick. I let him out to go potty, and now we're like filming it down. I don't know what he's doing over there. <laughs> all right, so these are five to ten home items. New with tags. So we got one, two, three of these llamas. These are peekaboo toys llamas. Very soft. Very soft. Little llama thon. Look at the llamas. You gonna play with the llama? Look at all those llamas. A lot of llamas. No? You all set? <laughs> so that was that. Now we have things that are in a little like bag upon a bag. Oh, this is what it looks like inside, in case you wanted to see it. Bag upon a bag. I'm gonna keep trying to find these home ones at least. These are, I feel like they're more fun and reasonably priced. These are all little widgets to go in your um, Crocs. <laughs> I mean, they're cute. Is that Chick-fil-A? <laughs> are they all going to be widgets? No, oh, this doesn't seem like a widget. I mean, those will probably sell at the flea market. Is there a note here? Thank you so much for your purchase. I truly appreciate your support. I hope you love your items. Please let me know when you get this. Enjoy your happy mail. At least I have her name now, so I can remember which one's which. I don't know what you want. Do you want to go back up there? If you want to go back up there, then I got to put you back up there. Yeah? You got to go outside? Let's figure this out. This boy's crazy. Does anybody else have a... Older dog that's like super demanding. 
that's not good. <laughs> all right, so here's the next one, all covered up. Now we got two fidget spinners. <laughs> Yet again, something else I like sell at the flea market. Then we got this right here, VHS Hunchback. VHS is like the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Are they still packaged up? Did you get one of these boxes? Like with a whatever, and now you're selling them separately <laughs> to make money? It is. We got the Hunchback of Notre Dame 25th anniversary. How does it open? I don't know how it opens. Oh, it's taped. <laughs> Hold on. I mean, I don't know how many people still have VHSs. I do not. Oh, it's not a VHS. It's an actual little toy. Well, that's cuter. More cute. I know that's not a word. Look at that. That's cute. You want to see that? It's not food. Yeah, no. That's cute, though. That'll sell at the flea market. Right. And then we got this. The Finger Lobster. Finger Lobster. I've seen this on Tembo, I think, or something like this I've seen on Tembo. Maybe wants to sniff everything today. <laughs> People say, like, this is the most I've ever seen Paco, like, in other videos, like, moving around. No, today's the day. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this myself, sell so the flea market, or bring it up to the kids up in Rhode Island, because this is a fun little lobster. It almost feels like, you know, like a limp lobster. <laughs> That's something better. <laughs> and then we got the magic circle. Get a look. So you got this like, I didn't realize it was all, be all like toys type thing. Well, I guess not all toys, but a lot of toys. Magic circle. Can make it do that. What do you want? <laughs> then we got the super cooling towel. We got a super cooling towel. Flea market. I mean, at least I get these because I have an outlet to where I could, you know, put the stuff. Or, I mean, if you had a kid, too, this would be fun. Sheet grippers. We got a four-pack of sheet grippers. I mean, the mystery alone makes that fun. Now we got another bag. I wonder if she sealed these bags up or if they, she got them like this. These definitely remind me of, uh... Like wish stuff. I love I love you to the Death Star and back. I love you to the Death Star and back. And then we got I love you more. I love you most. I love you more. I love you most. Look at you. This is like another lobster. Are you a mini lobster? This is like a slug. It feels like kind of like what a slug would like feel like. Like if you're holding a slug. Do you want to smell that too? Yeah. That's just fun to hold. <coughs> what? <laughs> what is wrong with him today? That's super fun. Super fun, Paco. Do you want to open this one? Open it right here. What is it? And for our final item, we have a little. I mean, it's from Walmart, May Stays. I mean, I'm not gonna say Fourth of July, but little. Uh, what do they call it? Wash law set. I'm gonna see you guys go outside. He's legit just trying to get treats. What a bad boy. <laughs> He's ready at six and I just got home. <laughs>
So, as with all the mystery boxes, there was a gamble, but I thought this was fun. So this one was 20 bucks, and we got this, 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 these two, this, 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 widget, the thing, and two of these, more widgets. I mean, I don't think that's bad for $20. That's a decent amount of stuff. I mean, obviously they're not getting, like, people think like, oh, it's not worth the value. And I'm like, well, they try to make money. They're not trying to like give away stuff for free or like lose money. But for me, at least I have the flea market. So I can sit there and I can sell this stuff at the flea market. Will I make my money back? Who knows? You never know how things are gonna go at the flea market. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're bad. <laughs> Sometimes they're very bad. Anything else you want to say? This one was completely all over the place, you guys. I apologize that this was just me talking to Paco and having conversations with you. It was just, there was a lot going on. The lawn people. <laughs> but yeah, get a lot of neat stuff. I'm not sure what I'll keep. I'm definitely going to keep the markers. And probably like, I'll probably, I have some magnet things. Let me put some magnets on there so I can put it on the fridge. I already have something like this. So I don't know if I'll keep this one, but we'll see. So, I'll also <laughs> link them down below if you want to check out their closets. <laughs> All over the place video. You never know. So the, the guy didn't come home today planning on filming. It was just like, well, I might as well film that. And then all this happened. <laughs> so, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed. I know this video was like the one you were like, gosh, she is totally like cool comma collected. She is just a straight arrow girl. <laughs> I'm subscribing today. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.